Hi guys, this video is about throwing grenades better. It's more for those people who really want to improve their gameplay to step it up to the next level. This is something I have learned just recently by playing Mr. Pringles, and I think I am sold on this particular way of throwing grenades. I knew about this before, but I just never thought it could be used practically. So I want to let you guys all know, and especially those guys that are playing in the tournament, on how to do this, because it will give you the edge, I think, and especially in games where you don't have the perfect MS, I think you don't even need a good MS to actually grenade now. So I'm just going to demonstrate this with Winterwolf. I am spawning about three squads, uh, he's two and we're fighting over a flag, and to throw the grenade effectively now, I think you can just select multiple units at the same time. So keeping those units selected, you just um, click your grenade button, then left click where you want to throw it. And keep doing this to the other locations you want to throw. So you can choose about, let's say, four locations you want to throw the grenades at um, by just selecting one blob, grenade button, left click, grenade button, left click. And what it will do is basically uh, throw the grenades with different soldiers. If you select one soldier, for example, which we usually do, and press that grenade button and throw, and let's say the soldier has two grenades, and then you select the grenade button and throw again, it basically cancels the first one. But when you have multiple people selected, uh, it will cue the next soldier to throw it. So really this saves a micro, um, and the big thing is it works in lag as well. So you could throw five grenades in the space of, let's say, I don't know, a few seconds without even uh, having to force the micro. You may say that, yeah, that's uh, obvious, but really uh, it wasn't known to myself, some of you may know it, um, but uh, for me, this is something that will bring my gameplay to another level um, for myself. Um, not that I'm really looking to do that, but I find that this is going to be a good boost and I want everyone to know this before going into the tournament. So one big thing to know, you need to make sure you have a hotkey. I do have a hotkey um, on my mouse, I've got a, a mouse, mouse with about 20 buttons. I only use three of them, the middle mouse and the left and right click, and also another button, which is the grenade. So just assign a key, even a keyboard key. Um, Mr. Pringles has a key where you press on the keyboard, select the grenade, and just hit left click. Select, hit your key, hit left click. That's how easy it is. Um, yeah, I've been really used to single clicking my infantry and then throwing the grenade, or single, inf single clicking my infantry, then going to DC, then cooking the grenade, which is all very slow. Uh, multiple selecting and then queuing multiple grenades at once is the way to go. And this is going to be especially effective with more infantry. So I've worked out a strategy now where you can really start off with an assault squad, some single infantry, then go straight to Volks on the timer when it hits uh, the timer. I haven't got, haven't got it perfect right now, but if you uh, get a few more single infantry, it'll, it'll be perfect. So getting Vox straight away, then another Vox, and you can really outspam the grenades like crazy and push the enemy back. On some maps, like Deb, this is really possible where you can push them all the way back just by the sheer weight of the grenades and even preempt pre uh, enemies running to the flag. Since you get to the flag at the same location, you can cue the grenades in the spot where the enemy are going to come, and this is um, going to obviously make them either run away or the, the AI as well jumps and ducks for cover. And this is also in your advantage where you can get into the position to ambush uh, because they do that. Even So that's if, if they don't explode. And if they explode, that's an even added bonus. So, yeah, hope uh, this is useful to some people. I'm sure some of you already know this and probably use this, just I uh, haven't really uh, noticed. I haven't noticed myself. And I just want to share this so you guys can have, I guess, the even edge, or not the competitive edge, I guess everyone will know it now, but everyone will be even footing. Um, in this tournament. I'm not a fan of uh, grenades to be honest in the meta. I prefer tactics and strategy and this will I guess enable you to focus on your tactics and strategy more. Um, so yeah, that was a test on 480 MS, a real game scenario versus one of the best plays out there on 480 MS, and I'm using a Volts Rush. I think it's uh, going to be a viable strategy, going in Assault Squad, then a six single infantry or so, and then going 
the recruits straight away to give you the edge quicker because you can buy it sooner and also it comes with a lot of grenades and you can get your another Vox straight after that. The timer, the way it goes with 1.5 MP per second, you can kind of get it straight away when it's available again in the timer. So I think there's a few experimentation uh, tactics that you can use and this will open it up a bit more with this new super grenade mac macro.